Hello everybody, it's me, oh man, back with a new tutorial and video on how to download and install LSPDFR plus Rage plugin hook. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and search up LCPDFR. So you go to here, click on the first link. This is LCPDFR.com. Once you've done that, go to LSPDFR for Grand Theft Auto 5 obviously because that's what it's for and then once you've done that if it lets me scroll down um, go down go down here and click LSPD first response click that once you click that it will bring you up to the actual mod once you've clicked that Scroll down and download this file. So once you've done that, just agree and download. I but I now here it doesn't matter what you install. I highly recommend doing manual install, but it doesn't matter. I like doing manual install because it's easier. So I hit download and it brings me up to the security challenge and then you just hit the security check. It's just security check and make sure you're not a robot. So hit I'm not a robot. Might have a pic might have pictures. Uh, bodies of waters. Just pick that. I think that should be right. Okay. Then submit it once you've done that. Then hit. Then here, go to save. Save as. Then save this. Go to your PC. This PC. Then to the desktop and save that. But I don't need to because I already have it on my desktop. So let's get on to the next thing. So the next thing you actually want to make the Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, the, the L S P D F R to work, is you need Rage Plugin Hook. So go to Rage Plugin Hook, click it. Uh, look at the requirements of what you need and that stuff. Then go to Downloads. Once you're at Downloads, look at um, download the latest version of Rage Plugin Hook. Um, Rage Plugin Hook, which this time is at 4. Point Point four zero, so hit that twice or would it how many times? Then save, save as, same as the stuff. Just go to this PC and then go to desktop and then save. Once you've done that, you got the two things that you need to actually make the game work. So I'll meet you on my desk and on my home screen. See ya. Okay, so once you're on your home screen, you should have the things that you uh, downloaded and. You should have your LSPDFR and your Rage plugin hook. Once you have one of those, go into your files, click that. Whoops, wrong thing. You want to go wherever it is, this PC. You want to go to the C, O, S, C, program files, time 86. Then you want to go to, where is it, Steam. Go to Steam. Then go to Steam apps. Then common. Then it should say Grand Theft Auto 5. I highly recommend, really highly recommend, I think everybody should do this and everybody does do this, which they should do. Right click it, copy the game. In case anything goes wrong, anything of the game goes, breaks, crashes, whatever, it doesn't work anymore, you can copy and paste it um, to make have all the original files there and everything's good and you can replace all the stuff that you have back into the copied version so once you have this once you see the Grand Theft Auto 5 hit it and then create a shortcut once you've created a shortcut it should look like this which right here so once you've done that just exit out of this because you have it now I put it modded because it's already modded and that stuff so let's open this open this so now you have the Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So the first thing I would put in is the actual police mod LSPDFR. So just highlight all this except for the licenses and then drag everything into your um, GTA 5 main directory. But I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So once you've done that, you got that done. Leave it to the side just to make sure. Don't delete Rage plugin hook nor LSPDFR because you may need it in the future. Okay, so once you've here once you've gotten to here, 
just highlight all this you do not need the SDK but everything everything you need you do not every you need everything else beside you need everything besides the licenses and SDK so just drag that and then put it into grant the data five main directory so once you have all those things in you can go over here and then you finally have it press it it'll ask you questions all the stuff put it what you want and once you get to the settings part go into uh, plugins hold on I'll show you hold on let me just get a second okay so hold on oh come on why is it gotta work, stop working all the time just close the program sorry guys about this um I'll be back Oh no, it's working fine now. So once you get to this part before everything happens, go to plugins and then it should be like this, but go to load these plugins on startup. Now um the LSPD first response should be right there. Once you've have just click it, check it, and and then save and launch. And just leave what these are just leave it like this and then save and launch so once you've done that you got everything and it should launch easily for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this a like and a th give this a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials because i sure do have more coming i'm gonna have separate mods for this police mod if you guys did like this please give this a thumbs up if you do think, um, please leave in the comments if you need help on anything, and I will help you. I'll try to get out to most of the comments if you guys leave comments if you need help. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and just tell me in the comments below stuff that I need to work on, um, and that will just give me advice and tell me work on stuff, um. But yeah, overall, that's what you guys need to do for the police mod. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for more. And just subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like my videos. And stay tuned for more videos. I know I said this. But just, just do that. I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you in the next video. Peace.